Good morning, everyone. So, my name is Kunal Roda, Program Manager from National Health Authority. In this webinar, we will show the new portal National Healthcare Provider Registry. I want to show via presentation. So, Healthcare Professional Registry is a comprehensive repository of all the healthcare professionals across the system of medicine. So, healthcare professional can enroll with the basic information like EKYC, personal detail, registration detail, qualification, and work detail. So there are different type of professional such as doctor and nurses. We have already included in the HPR and soon we will include the pharmacist also. So HPR is a single source of information, single source of truth for information of doctors and nurses. So we have covered doctors and nurses currently. In doctors, we have covered modern medicine, dentist, Ayurveda, Yunani, Sova, Rikpa, Siddha, and homeopathy professionals. So we have launched the new portal, National Healthcare Provider Registry. Here, we have merged the combination of health professional registry and health facility registry. So any professional or any facility manager can register via same portal, which is called NHPR. So you can log in via nhpr.abdm.gov.in. So any professional or facility manager can log in via same portal. There are three types of role. First is healthcare professional. If the professional is only doctor or nurse, they are not a facility manager. So they can submit their application via role number one, healthcare professional. Second is health facility manager. So facility manager, if the person is not a doctor, not a nurse, only a facility manager. Third is healthcare professional and facility manager. It means doctor is healthcare, doctor or nurse is a healthcare professional as well as their facility manager. So you can scan this QR code also. So here you can see nhpr.abdm.gov.in. Any professional or any facility manager can log in into this system, login slash registration. And in the second tab, you can see here admin login. If any council verifier state government body will log in so they can log in via admin login. So any doctor or facility manager can log in via login or registration page. Then if professional or facility manager is already registered in the HPR or HFR, so they can log in via HPID username or mobile number. If the new user who want to come into the NHPR, so they can log in via register here. Please click here. You can see here, register here. So there are two type of feature. First is Aadhaar. You can generate your HP ID via Aadhaar. And second is driving license. So if you click on the Aadhaar, so first you need to enter the Aadhaar number. Then CAPTCHA and declaration. I agree, click and submit. Once you submit, one OTP will be sent to your registered linked mobile number. You can see here last four digit is 2062. So this is the linked mobile number with the this Aadhaar card. So you can get the OTP and submit here. Once you submit, so your profile photo will be come from Aadhaar database. Your name will be come from the Aadhaar database. Automatic gender, date of birth and communication address will also come from the Aadhaar database. So you cannot change the name of the professional gender or date of birth because we are taking the Aadhaar EKYC as a single source of truth. Then mobile number you need to enter. If the mobile number is same as Aadhaar mobile register number, so you do not need to again OTP verification. Then email ID. You can verify your email ID as well, but e verification is not mandatory. Next is date of birth is automatic come from the Aadhaar database. District and sub district you need to provide if it is not come from the Aadhaar database. Next, three roles. I am a healthcare professional. If the doctor or nurse want to only register for the healthcare professional registry, so they can click on the role number one. I am a healthcare professional. If only a facility manager who is not a doctor, not a nurse, so they can click on the second role. I am a facility manager slash administrator. Next is I am a healthcare professional and facility manager. If a professional is also a doctor or nurse and also a owner of the facility, so they can click on the role number three. I am a healthcare professional and facility manager. Then if the professional, so 
category and sub category need to select mandatory like we have two type of category currently doctor and nurse and if I have selected doctor, so my subcategory will be modern medicine, Ayurveda, Yunani, Sovarikpa, Siddha, Homeopathy and Dentistry. In case of nurse, GNM, ANM, all type of subcategory will be visible. Next is HPID username. So username is the login ID alias like ABA address in ABA. So this will be a login ID. So person can login via username as well as mobile number or HPID. Next is password and confirm password. So we have password policy, minimum eight character, one character should be capital, one character should be small, one numeric digit and one special symbol. So eight character, then submit. Then you can see here, all the personal information will be automatic come and Aadhaar verified. Next is if I have selected a modern medicine doctor, so my by default title will be doctor. Full name will be visible from the Aadhaar database only. Person can not change this name. Nationality by default Indian. Language spoken. You can select multiple language like English, Hindi, Marathi, Telugu. So multiple selection can be there. So next is communication address by default. Tick yes. If you want to change your communication address, so you need to click here. Tick and select your district and sub district. And other detail. Then save and next. Click on the save and next. Then qualification and registration detail. So in the qualification and registration detail, category and system of medicine will come from the previous pages which you have already declared. Next is registration detail. You need to provide the drop down here. State registration council name, then registration number. Registration number can be alphanumeric. So you need to provide accurate registration number which is provided by the state. Next is date of first registration. So once you have registered, in the state council, so you need to provide the first date of registration here. Next is, is your registration permanent or renewable? Suppose your re registration is renewable, so you need to also provide the next renewal date here. So registration certificate attachment is also a mandatory. You can upload up to five MB document, PNG, JPJ, JPEJ and PDF format, and you can also pull from the DigiLocker. And next option is, is your name is in registration number and is same as the Aadhaar or not. Suppose my registration number is different with the Aadhaar, so I can provide the supportive document like medical court affidavit, marriage certificate, etc. Next is qualification. So in case of modern medicine, my by default qualification will be MBBS. In case of Ayurveda, my by default qualification will be BAMS. In case of homopathy, BH, BHMS. So this qualification now will automatic come this in this portal. Country will by default India. If you have already selected India, then state, college, university, month of exam and year of exam need to be selected by the professional. Then upload attachment is also a mandatory. You need to provide the basic degree detail. And if your Aadhaar name is different, with the qualification detail, so you need to provide the supportive document. Suppose after MBBS, I have done the MD or any additional courses, so I can select this add additional qualification, then save and next. Then my next page is work detail. Are you currently working? Yes or no? Suppose I am working, so I will click on yes. Then three type of option government, private or both. If you are working, if you are a government employee, so you need to select the government. If you are a private employee, so you can select the private. In case of private facility declaration is non mandatory. In case of government facility declaration is mandatory. So in case of government, you need to also provide the supportive document like appointment letter, recent pay slip or transfer order or etc. Next is place of work. So in case of government or both, you need to declare the place of work state and district you need to select or you can also provide the facility ID search by facility ID if you know the facility ID. Facility ID is the HFR ID. State and district you can select here. Next is. Uh, preview profile to preview your profile you can click here. And your profile to be visible to public by default we have clicked yes if you want to change so you can change. So you can see the profile preview profile here. Last is declared. 
declaration you need to click on yes i agree then e sign and submit so site will redirect to the cdex site aadhar number you need to enter get otp you need to enter the otp you have received in the registered mobile number then submit once you click e sign su successfully submitted click on okay so pdf you can download and store so now i want to show after verification what are the various feature once my profile is verified by the council or state government so you can see here now edit form if you want to change something like work detail or anything so you can click on the edit form once your profile is verified by the council or state government so you can not edit the registration detail or qualification which you have already verified by the respective council so in the left menu you can see here my i can also submit health facility registry if i have selected both role participate in healthcare workforce mobility it means i want to practice outside india so this is the new option we have added medical certificate for modern medicine doctor currently we have given this option so they can provide the medical certificate to the government employees soon we will provide also a medical certificate for a patient next is hpid card so you can download your hpid card download digital certificate so for doctors we have given this opportunity to download their digital certificate then profile edit re kyc option change your password or add additional qualification so i will show one by one first is issue medical certificate so you can issue medical certificate currently we have given this option for leave or extension of leave for government employees then you need to provide doctor will provide the patient name suffering from disease name then duty of number of days effect from and pay, doctor can also provide the patient email id then they can generate an e sign next is hp id so hp id once your profile is verified so you can download your hp id card next is download digital doctor certificate so for doctors we have provided this feature so you can download this certificate and print in your facility so any citizen any patient can search your qualification or verification via this qr code this will be beneficial for doctor as well as patient next is if i want to edit my profile so i can click here so i can change my mobile number email id any time or if i want to change my role suppose currently i am a healthcare professional and in future i also be a facility manager so i can change my role i can upgrade my role next is i can change my password we have given three type of option for changing a password you can change a password by a old password you can change a password by a aadhar otp as well as mobile otp next is additional qualification suppose during the registration in nhpr i have added only mbbs degree now in future after that after the verification i want to add additional qualification so i can add from here so this is the policy all the government professional profile will be directly moved to the state government verifier so they have responsibility to check the qualification registration and work detail in case of private professional your profile will be directly moved to the council verifier in case of both it means government and private so your profile will be visible to the state government verifier for verification so you can scan this qr code and take the benefit of new portal and provide your valuable feedback thank you